Meanwhile, restaurant owners face a lot of uncertainty when it comes to surviving another shutdown like what we saw earlier this spring of indoor dining. Some of those owners tell 13 News reporter William Ingalls that this will be the most difficult challenge they faced this year. For a few weeks, it seemed like business was finally picking up steam. We were just starting to get her that's to that sweet spot. But in a year that restaurants have lived by the phrase, roll with the punches, COVID-19 has thrown a blow that owners aren't sure they can survive. They asked if I was gonna survive, and I said, well, you know, it's gonna be hard. Even with their backs against the wall, owners like Patrick Alberto of Octane RKFD are still upbeat. You know, I'm, I'm an optimist. So I, I try to look at this as a, another big hurdle that we're just going to have to maneuver our way out of. Even during this difficult year, that optimism is shared by other restaurant owners. They say that's thanks to a community that had their backs during the first shutdown and when they can only serve people outdoors. You know, a lot of our customers prefer to eat outside. So that has been most of our business, even since Indoor was able to reopen. As the cool weather months loom, Creating an outdoor dining space is an added challenge, and for some businesses, that's a financial move they can't make. Tried to heat it, it'd be incredibly expensive. It's just, it's just too cost prohibitive. We're, we have really no choice but just to accept the restrictions that we have and, and try to make do with less. While strategies to tackle these new restrictions might be different, there is one thing all these business owners agree on. The community can do the work to help them survive. You have to follow the rules. We, we all want it over with, so please follow the rules so that we can get through this. A plea to the community to shut down COVID so restaurants don't have to shut their doors for good. For your 13 Weather Authority, William Ingalls, 13 News. The restaurants we spoke to today also urge everyone to shop local, especially while these restrictions are in place.